Odessa, the biggest city of southern Ukraine. It's famous for her sunny weather and her multicultural background. This city is so beautiful that people call her the Pearl of Black Sea. One of the Odessa lifestyle is the yard. In these three episodes, we are going to tell you the stories of Odessa yards. Maybe you want to subscribe us before we start this video. You can find here some small picture gallery. Oh. Here, near this yard, there is a small art school. And when the series graduated, they are doing the diploma works. And then no one cares about this work. And the people that live in the local locals that live in this yard, they decide to put some of these works here. Uh -huh. So that's how the small gallery appears. Interesting. Gallery of the neighborhood. So even in the center of Odessa, you can easily find such authentic yards. And a lot of people are talking about Odessa is dying. You cannot find a lot of Odessa yards. The new building is everywhere. But you just need to know where, yeah. where to go for mm -hmm. feel this atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we find you. <laughs> Thank you. The Opera Theater is 10 minutes by foot, but you can feel here the authentic atmosphere of Odessa yards. A lot of books, a lot of songs, a lot of movie. Uh, tell you the story of this Odessa yard and when the people said life in Odessa, yard in Odessa, uh, they think about the yard like this. Mm -hmm. The pump line appears in Odessa, it was too expensive to have water in each apartment so the people were just putting mm -hmm. like water point in the middle of the yard. So you need to change, you, if you need water you need to take a bucket and go here. Take water. Laundry, fish, cook something, clean fish, I don't know, clean children. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. So the water is in the middle of the yard, the toilet is in the middle of the yard. You are living in such yard and I'm sorry for this information, but during the night you don't want to go to the toilet. You just take a bucket uh -huh. and you move it morning and everyone knows everything <laughs> how many buckets of water you take how many buckets you bring to the toilet which clothes you have new or what have you repair mm. so the people don't have the private life here mm. they don't they, they can't hide something mm. this yard knows everything about you when the people talk between each other they talk too loud and you can really hear what are they talking about. Mm. So all family conflicts, <laughs> all in use, everything is here without your private life. If you want the people to respect your private life, you just shouldn't be in such a way. The yard will give you the advice mm -hmm. uh, how to cook, uh, how to Leave, leave for <laughs> how to teach your children, how to care your husband or your wife. And the yard didn't uh, interest, uh, do you need this advice or no? They just will give you advice <laughs> which oil to buy, <laughs> which car is better, <laughs> how many money spent for holidays. <laughs> so um, it's really typical of this atmosphere, but a lot of people love this atmosphere and they want to change something. And the yard will help you if you will catch cold. If you need to buy some drugs or bread and you don't have opportunity to mm -hmm. rent away, if the, car, the yard will help you to care about your children. If you need some money even for children's education, they can easily give this money for you. Mm. So, like family. Yeah. <laughs> the street was built when the city, when the people in Odessa had uh, already a lot of money and they can easily build very big and wonderful and beautiful buildings. Sorry. Uh -huh. Just this old and destroyed building is the building where Bogol lived and we are waiting for innovation. I hope that they will continue mm -hmm. uh, and after these two buildings they will start work with this one. It's very interesting, very beautiful building. You can see that unfortunately the roof collapsed yeah. already. But inside they have wonderful interiors, very beautiful. Oh, 
the old stone that came, you know, that's uh, from Italy. This is basalt stone, mm -hmm. and the first road and the first yards of uh, Odessa was making from such stones, very strong stone. And uh, I don't know why they decided to change it by asphalt during the Soviet period. And the wall from this very soft Odessa stone, you can see how the so it's destroyed, so you can understand yeah. why the buildings look so damaged look. because you can easily destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> this is a system of um, expensive and cheap apartment. Uh -huh. Here is the part of cheap apartment. You can see the small window, not very beautiful facade. Cheap apartment you can easily find inside the yard. Yeah. And because the building everything is completely cheap and uh, not luxury. Yeah. So just the stairs, just the windows. And then go I want to show you the expensive part of the building. Uh -huh. The building will be the state property. So you can buy just the apartment inside. Uh -huh. It's very difficult to buy you now that's a whole building. You can buy like private property only the apartment. Uh -huh. Not the stairs and not the whole building. Okay. I don't know why. It's very difficult to buy a whole building. And even if you are the owner of all apartments, um, you are not the owner of the building. You cannot tear it down and make a new apartment. Yes. In this uh, part of building where the entrance to the expensive apartment is, lived one very interesting person that decided not to pay the government and decided to renew everything by himself. Uh -huh. And now it's like the museum. Mm -hmm. Everything was very expensive from the beginning. Yeah. You can understand the level of the apartments, something like fixed center, uh -huh. all doors, They didn't change it, they renew mm -hmm. it. You can understand how high the apartment is. The apartment is now big, just six apartments here. The stairs, everything is very expensive. The steps making from the marble, this is a old one stone. And the decoration are new. Casa Stella de la Fortuna. The people organized such cisterns in the middle of the yard. This is underground reservoirs. We have no water underground. You should just put the water inside for to save take it. it. Oh. Just to save it. Uh, so firstly, the people just uh, waiting for the rain. But the city became bigger and bigger and we didn't have an, a lot of rain in our region. So the people found some fountains away from the city. And uh, it was kind of business to bring the water from this fountain, mm -hmm. fountains and to sell it here. Mm -hmm. And the water, the water was extremely expensive. For example, a uh, bucket of water costed. 18 kapika and foot of meat cost 16 kapika. So more the water expensive. was more expensive. It was cheaper to buy wine or the beer water. and to drink it than the water. And the most expensive drinks in cafe and restaurants was tea and coffee. Oh. Like this. <laughs> Thank you, Katja. Make an interesting tour of Odessa city yeah. and those it's stories. If you come to Odessa, you can contact her. She will show you more interesting stories and all the cats in Odessa. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.